So, hello, I'm <coughs> Georgi Lekoishvili, and this is my teammate Tony Gomarelli, and our main passion and goal is to revolutionize the concept and idea of shopping. We want to give the users the most uh, re favorite results and their needs as, as, as possible. So, for example, can we just describe by words this shirt? I don't know if you like it, but if you just see this shirt and we want to buy it, it, it would be very hard for us to just put it in the query language and search it through the web on the Amazon and eBay and on, on another online source. Uh, simply, our platform and most innovative app uh, helps us just simply by pushing a button, just uh, take a photo, and it will give you the most recent and the best uh, closest result as it can. So it will just uh, give you the opportunity to just economy the time, and it will give you opportunity to uh, buy the product on the other sources like Amazon and eBay. As you can see, our um, main project, project is very simple. It has a very big button. Uh, it has a very big button, it tells you to push it, and afterwards uh, you can just uh, take a picture of some kind of product and it will just, uh, with the help of the modern artificial intelligence APIs of Azure, it will just give you the best results as it can on the Amazon and eBay. For example, in this case, uh, it might be hard for you to just explain the product itself, uh, the red color, the terrain based, and the textures. So you don't need to just uh, go to the uh, online store just write this query and just think about hmm, what should I write, what should I just search to give me the best results as I can. As, and as you can see with the uh, as you can see uh, with our uh, iOS application, uh, you can just simply take a picture and it will give you the best results. And also it will give you similar products. So you're not um, only just based on only one product, it will give you the similar products. It will help you to just um, navigate through the web and give you the best product as you need. It's to put it in simple ways, it's like Shazam on the products. Uh, and uh, our main uh, goal now is to just uh, make the um, one card, online card, based on the most uh, modern and uh, successful online stores like Amazon, eBay, AliExpress and Alibaba. So imagine you have all these big sources and they give you the uh, best products and needs of what you want by uh, just simply taking a photo and uh, you can just search through the web in our application and uh, you can just look through other pr products, uh, what they offer you. And the most uh, recent uh, great, great question is that what is the main business model? So we think that uh, the business model is that whenever you search uh, the product by image and you want some kind, kind of, uh, for example, shirt like I wear, uh, if some kind of corporation which is registered in our company has some kind of sales and offers, it will be just sorted to the top and it will give you the advertisement you really want and it will give you the main uh, uh, product you really want. Uh, so, uh, furthermore, uh, when we have a big, a big amount of users, we can just learn uh, their behaviors. We can learn what they search. We can learn what they like, what they love, and what they really want. So, after, after this big data, uh, we, we know what you, for example, are searching uh, very recently. For example, I love uh, shirts like this, uh, terrain-based. And uh, when, whenever I just uh, look, th uh, search through the web, these kind of t-shirts, uh, shirts, uh, my, our platform will know that I am interested in this kind of product. And whenever a big corporation and store will have ca some kind of offers and sales about this kind of category product, they will notify me and they will give me the best uh, product and best uh, offer as I, I will mm, love. So let's talk about a little bit about technology. I want it. I want, uh, it won't be boring. Uh, we are using core Microsoft technologies uh, for mobile platform. We use Microsoft's most recent tool for mobile app development, Xamarin. Uh, we, re we really love it because it gives us the native capabilities of iOS application. We use um, uh, Windows Cloud Platform Azure with cognitive services uh, and the Vision API to just recognize the products and give us the best results as you can. Uh, and also we are using some other stuff like um, uh, we are using a modern .NET framework, .NET Core. We are just uh, writing this stuff on one C sharp language. We're using uh, MSSQL for databases, ASP.NET for API, 
And uh, like I mentioned, we use uh, Azure Cognitive Services and Vision API for just identifying the products and giving us the best results for colors and that kind of stuff. Now, so what are my, our main problems now? Uh, we just cope with the problem to just identify some kind of, kind of category of, for example, T-shirt, sleeveless T-shirt, uh, color of the product and giving us the uh, products from a Amazon and eBay. But our main problem is uh, small data because whenever we, th whenever we take a picture of a laptop, it identifies that it is laptop, but it does it can't identify that it's MacBook Pro, for example, or uh, Microsoft Surface. So we think that we will cope with this situation, with this problem, uh, whenever we have uh, big data and big image, images from other corporations like Alibaba and uh, Amazon and eBay. So uh, this is generally our product. We think that uh, this will revolutionize the concept of shopping because just imagine whenever you walk, you see some kind of dude wearing a cool t-shirt and you want it, you just simply take a picture and it will give you the best results as possible and you will be able to buy it in the seconds uh, that you want. Thank you for listening. Can you maybe elaborate a little bit on how are you using cognitive services to find similar products? Which services and... Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Azure has a very uh, cool service, the Vision API. You just upload uh, the, your photo with base64 um, base string and it gives you the G G JSON array of some kind of stuff what is in there. So whenever we uh, take a picture of uh, you standing and wearing a red t-shirt, it gives us that uh, the man wears t-shirt red and uh, we're just uh, getting these queries and also we're just making dynamically the image and the color and also uh, the Azure gives us the colors uh, that are on the image and we are creating dynamically image with just one solid color and we're giving the Azure uh, Vision API this color to give us the best results for you. For example, when you're just searching this uh, t-shirt red, uh, Amazon and eBay must give you red t-shirts. So that's basically we're calling the Azure uh, API and we're planning to just use custom vision API with uh, AI studio uh, uh, that Azure just offers us. Well, that's why I'm, I was asking because custom vision API has the limit on the number of objects of the number of classes. So you cannot possibly put all products. Yes, in the custom vision. yes, I know. Uh, we uh, know. Uh, so as I understand, you uh, extract tags from the image and then you search based on tags, right? Uh, yes, and we're just filtering the data and we're trying to be as specific, as narrow as we can. For example, if you just take a picture of bottle, they, it shouldn't give you the microphone. Uh, so uh, we had one problem that uh, Azure recognized on this shirt that it is a pizza. Uh, and uh, it would be very bad to show a pizza when you're searching the shirt. So yes, we're just making our mini just checkings also to identify and uh, narrow the product as we can. Okay, thank you. Uh, first, really great presentation, thanks. Thanks. And uh, the question is, uh, have you analyzed your competitors? Sorry? Competitors. Yes, so we, we search for our competitors and mainly uh, they are focused on cars and not uh, shopping. Uh, because uh, they, they, when we saw they don't have one uh, big ecosystem of Amazon, eBay, and other just shops like we are, uh, we having our concept, and because uh, we want to just simplify the process and give the best results from other sources like Amazon and eBay. Uh, can you do live demonstration? Uh, like because yes. it doesn't seem to be difficult. Just take a picture and see what what the result is. And while you, you know the God of the presentation will just punish me and it won't work. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, can you please stand up? <laughs> Let's see what happens. Don't, don't tell the price of the two <laughs> Uh, as you can see, I just took photo of you and it gave me the results of red t-shirts. Okay. And our problem now is narrowing the da data now. You have blue lines on your shirt and uh, whenever we have custom uh, Azure uh, Vision services and we have big information pictures like I mentioned, uh, it will just, uh, we won't have that kind of problems anymore afterwards. Mm -hmm. how, how you are going to deal with the brand recognition? Brand recognition? Uh, um, 
uh, it's a good Basically, question. Basically, I want the red sheet from Tommy Halfiger, for example. Ah, yes, uh, that's that's what I'm saying. It's like the case in like MacBook. So it identifies that it's laptop, but it's very hard to deal with the bread. So like I mentioned, when we just integrate with the uh, lots of source and we just make our custom algorithms and uh, custom Azure API and uh, lots of other algorithms, we'll have lots of big data and it will be very easy for us to identify the custom brands. Yeah, also one small suggestion, instead of taking photo, try to use screenshots. Screenshots? Yeah, because you can't always go and ah, take yeah. a photo. Thanks. Just use screenshots. Good advice. Uh, choose from gallery picture, for example. Yeah. Yes. Thanks a lot. Uh, one question about the how to identify the quality of the material, the cotton or silk or blah, 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 because it's very important for customers. Uh, you know, uh, it's very hard to uh, identify the uh, material uh, from the photo. Uh, sometimes Azure gave us the uh, um, material if it really looks like it, but from uh, from now it's really hard to identify this material. But we think that it will be uh, filters, filter down, uh, filters in our search results. And for example, when we just search t shirt, it, there will be filters, cotton based and that kind of stuff, which will and this this will be uh, this will be available after the integration. Yes, after the big integration part. So far, it's working only for shirts. Will it work for shoes, for example? Or yes, it works on shoes. You can check it now if you want. <laughs> <laughs> our uh, other sides are we want to also work on the cars as well. Uh, and our main problem is recognizing brands. And we, we think that we will cope with the situation afterwards when we have big data. And how do you compare to uh, products like Visual Search, like Google Visual Search, which can give you similar like results in terms of images? Uh, you know, um, uh, we, we tried Google Visual Search as well, but uh, you know, uh, when we work on the uh, Microsoft technologies, as you can see, almost all, not almost 100% of our technologies are based on Microsoft. We're just uh, used to uh, this ecosystem, and it offers us the same as Google. But Google has some more complex and good stuff, but I think that uh, when we use advanced features of Azure, like uh, custom uh, vision, we'll uh, be more specific to that. Well, I'm not so much uh, about using Google versus Microsoft, yeah. because Microsoft just released, I think, uh, on build the visual search as well. But you are not using visual search, as I understand. You're using the, the vision. vision API. Yes. So you extract tags, and then you search based on tags. Yes. And then I think this approach is fundamentally uh, not as good as comparing real images because uh, you know when you track tags and you search based on tags it's the same as I typed in I want red t-shirt at the end I mean if I do the very specific uh, query myself I would find the same products yes. while if you use visual search you're actually comparing images so yes uh, 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 maybe, maybe it's a feedback, you know, uh, if you want to do this uh, in a very serious and a good way, probably you would have to go into the direction of comparing images. It can be either using service or you can do your own neural networks, but probably you would want to, to go into this direction. Sometimes. Yes, you're absolutely right. Thank you for your feedback. But in demo purposes, we try to uh, just build the uh, good uh, working uh, demo app as we could. And that's why we use Vision API. And when we have time and efforts, I'm sure that our team, uh, together with maybe other teams, will cope this kind of situation. Yeah, the prototype. Thanks a lot. Um, thank you. Uh, let's let's thank the team and. Um